I do love this little two-wheel driver. And a little nasty red. All these first gens, first gen, first gen, second gen, 7.3. Just a lot of cool trucks. And I'm super, super thankful for that. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. You're gonna be pretty excited about what I'm about to say. A lot of you guys know Nasty Red was a build that came onto the channel with a lot of hate, honestly, in the beginning. A lot of people are like, dude, that is a junk truck. Why would you buy that? All this other stuff, not me. My dad bought this truck, this is his. And all, you know, all this stuff, just like, it just didn't look, and a lot of people couldn't see the potential. But when I saw that truck, when, when my dad saw the truck, we knew, that truck is gonna be a monster one day. Like we, can, we we just see it with the flatbed and this and that. Like we see we see a champion, I guess you could say, of a truck sitting there. It just needs some work. Now we have it and it's one of the most popular trucks on the channel. The build kind of got put on hold for a little bit, but it's not done. And that's where that's where I come into play right now. Me and my dad did a little bit of talking and I am going to continue the build of Nasty Red. Now, it's still my dad's truck. His name is still in the title, but I'm gonna continue the build of Nasty Red. It'll all make more sense to you guys fairly soon. Just don't go jumping to conclusions quite yet in the comments. You guys will understand what's going on here before too long, and then we'll kind of, you know, me and my dad will have a conversation on video, and we'll kind of let you guys know exactly what's going on with the nasty red build and some and some other stuff that's going on, and it'll all make a, a lot more sense to you guys. So let's give you guys a quick little update on what I've just been working on the past couple of hours. Um, made a few phone calls. Nasty red, I did just call a shop and I scheduled it to have the transmission built. It's not cheap, it's very expensive. I'm paying for it, and so that's gonna get done though, because I wanna see this truck done, I wanna see it usable, drivable, I wanna get stuff done, and I also have it scheduled to get new brakes all the way around tomorrow, so I'm gonna drop it off tonight, so before I take it to the transmission shop, you know, later this weekend, they can have working brakes when they go to test the truck, because they said that they do, they said they take it, they build it, they check everything for leaks, they flush all the systems and make sure there's no, you know, there's no like uh, stops or, you know, anything like restricting flow of, you know, coolants and all this stuff. Like they said that they do everything, they test drive it for a day and then they do this and just make sure there's no leaks. They make sure it's perfect is what they say. I actually called a different diesel shop and they're known for like just building the craziest stuff around here. And they're like, this is the only shop we go to. You know, give them a call, tell them I sent you. And that's what I did and they're gonna try to get this hooked up and get it taken care of. This truck, obviously, um, has a little fender issue. The guy that I bought the truck off of, he called me, and he, he must watch the videos or something now too, so he called me and he's like, he just let me know, he's like, those tires, he's like, they're not retreads, you know? He's like, um, he's like, yes, I've never seen anything like that before in my life. Um, happen on a truck like this, you know, with a tire like that, but he's like, they're not retreads. He's like, they're not retread tires, they're not recaps. Um, he's like, you would be able to tell there's some, he was telling me about the tire, how you can tell, he's like, Look at the other ones, he's like, they're not like that. He's like, they're not recap tires. So I don't know what happened. Craziest thing I've ever seen. Um, but all, all that aside, he was calling me. He's like, I got the original paint, you know, like for that, that you know, for when we repainted that. He's like, I've got it on hand if you want me to, you know, send it up there or something like that. And I was like, no, nah, it's fine. You know, we'll get it taken care of. But I do like the fact that he contacted me to let me know a few things and also the fact that he was going to provide the paint and stuff for the truck. And Stuff like that. I just told him, like, don't worry about it. You know what I mean? At least he reached out, you know what I mean, in the situation. For Nasty Red, paint body work's got to get done here very soon, and it's going to get done. Um, transmission is scheduled. Not this first gen, my other first gen, my two-wheel drive first gen. That build is hopefully going to be launching. I've already kind of told you my plan. Hopefully, we can get that build rolling in September pretty heavy. And I did just call a diesel shop again today, too. The same guy for the who recommended me to somebody else for the transmission. I asked them about P-pumping that truck, and so they're gonna shoot me back a quote, what it's gonna cost to P-pump it and get all new parts, you know, and all the conversion kit stuff, and put a fast on it and stuff like that. He wants to let me know the cost to get it all done at the same time, so we can get that rolling. He's just gonna give me a quote right now. I don't know exactly when that's gonna get done, because obviously there's a couple of other things I gotta, kinda gotta get done on the truck first, that it's just, it's ready to get that done too. Intercooler swap it before that, and a couple other things just so it can all just flow together and you know be done at the same time and everything can make sense and you don't run into any kind of any kind of issues, you know what I mean? Pretty much it. it was just a busy day making phone calls. Some cool stuff, some cool stuff coming up. Oh, and I, they told me what they'll charge me to paint that fender. They said if you bring in the new fender, they said it's really easy, we can paint match it, no problem. Um, they're like it's gonna be like 250 bucks to get it, you know, all done the right way so it'll match perfect. And apparently they're like it'll be 
perfect to that truck. It'll be perfectly done. So um, I'm like, cool, sounds good to me. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much gonna be it for today. I don't really have anything else planned. Me and my buddy Jeshua might go hang out and uh, try to film some kind of video for him. Don't forget, people, ATV or $5,000 cash. It's spit shine, all the parts are super shiny clean. This thing hasn't been mud bogged, nothing like that. I literally bought it brand new off the lot. Well, out of the showroom floor. Brand new tires. I mean, everything is just in top, top shape. There's no rust, there's no, I mean, it's brand new. It's a brand new machine. It's got, I think, three and a half hours on it, maybe of runtime, which is, I think, not even to the break-in point. I think break-in time is 10 hours, so. I mean, guys, brand new wheels, brand new tires, brand new machine. It's not been, you know, beat on. I mean, it's in freaking amazing condition. It's brand new. You can win an ATV or $5,000 cash. So, get in on this. Literally, I think there's like 96% less people entering um, this one than there was the other one. I mean, you can do some stuff with five grand. I'm trying to think, like, we bought Nasty Red for five grand. I got my little first gen for three grand. I mean, you can do stuff with $5,000, you know? So, I mean, think about that. Get yourself into a project truck. I even told people, I said, hey, guys, if you win the $5,000 and you wanna try to get yourself a project truck, I said, I will help you pick one out. Like, if you win the $5,000 and you're like, dude, I'm really trying to decide what truck is a good truck for the money, I can do my best and I can't go across the country and, you know, help test drive one with you and figure it out and stuff like that. But if you send me some pictures and some stuff and I do my, you know, I look at it and stuff like that, I, I can help let you know what I think is a, you know, a good buy for the $5,000, you know what I mean? Or, you know, preferably under that, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys, I mean, hey, I'm just saying, some other kid is like, dude, he's like, I want that $5,000, man. I'm trying to buy myself a 12 of them. So anyways, guys, just trying to paint a picture for you. You can do a lot with $5,000, a lot more than you think. You can't hurt. If you just buy a t-shirt, you entered. You know, you buy a t-shirt, you entered, you buy a hoodie, you're two entries, you buy two decals and a t-shirt, there's two entries, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, just think about it. Just think about it. Enter, there's like 11 days, 10, 11 days left. You might as well get in and, um, we're not restocking anything, so the stuff that's kind of selling out, when it's out, it's just gone until we can kind of get things moving on and keep pushing forward to the next big thing. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Lots of big things coming up for Nasty Red. That build is going to get nailed down and finished. And then also, the little two-wheel drive first-gen build is going to be getting crushed within the next month. Hopefully we can just crush it, crush it, crush it, just crush that build and get it just I wanna have one of the sickest freaking trucks that we've had yet on this property. Like, I want that truck to be just an animal. I want it to be insane. And um, it's gonna be super fun. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, join the giveaway, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.